Hello again, Game Replays. We have another game here on Semwa between Seb and Devam. And I got a special guest here with me tonight. Please introduce yourself. Hey everybody, this is Inverse. Glad to be here with Chains casting this game. Should be a good one. Alright, sweet. We're both paused at the 5 second mark and I'm gonna watch Seb and Inverse is gonna watch from Devam's perspective. Let's unpause in three, two, one. Unpause. Six, seven, eight, and nine seconds. All right. So I actually haven't watched the first two games in the series. Would you like to give an overview if you have? I'm not sure if you have or not. I haven't actually watched them either, so. <laughs> All right. Well, it is game three, so we do know they split. I'd be yeah. curious to see which factions they both won with. I'm yeah. assuming DevM would have taken his v Wehrmacht game and Seb... I don't know. Maybe Seb won with Wehrmacht too. Yeah, I have sense, absolutely actually. no idea who's won with which faction, so this should be interesting. Well, Devim's Wehrmacht is definitely stronger than his Americans. So I'm assuming they both won as Wehrmacht and Seb got faction choice and decided to take Wehrmacht in game three, but that's just a guess. I think uh, Devim's Wehrmacht is better than his Americans. I, I personally think, think so. I mean, in, in the games I've watched, it seems that his Wehrmacht plays better than his Americans. I might be wrong, though. I haven't watched him lately. Interesting well, think, uh, wire by Seb down oh, yeah. here, trying to block off this little entranceway. Yeah, they're on the south southern BP. Should be easier for him to control that muni point later on. Devim going normal rifleman opening, normal capping order with his engineers as well. I keep forgetting this is actually the beta patch, so I'm going to have to keep an eye out for some of the beta changes. <laughs> yeah, I can remind you exactly. if there's any. Uh, we have a bike out after the Volks squad. It should be interesting. I'll, I like this on Samoa. It's really, really helpful, especially because it's so much easier to flank, at least compared to Angleville and Langra, just because of all the buildings and the green cover and stuff. Yeah, look at this motorcycle. It's gonna chase off those engineers in the south here. And up. Up in the north, more wire going down by Seb, so he's re really trying to constrict Devim's movement, which is really, really a good idea, especially on this map where there's a lot of choke points. Yeah, wire is really effective on this map. And you, if you get to kill off an engineer squad late, early on with uh, the Wehrmacht, you could. The wire is gonna be more effective, because there's only mm -hmm. one engineer squad left on the map. And Devon was smart in the south against that bike. Most players just kind of run an engineer away when they point. go up against the bike. But if you just run at it, you can circle around it, and he's not going to be able to shoot because he has to turn. So that was a good play by him. Yeah. This rifle's going to get suppressed now by the MG setting up. Managed to decap the strat point, though. Yeah, I don't know if that was really worth it, though. I mean, all he really decapped was the plus five fuel. And Seb's yeah. just gonna be able to recap this right away with his Pioneer Squad. Yeah, it probably wasn't worth it because they have to run all back to the base of the American player. Mm hmm. Interesting that Devim is actually VP rushing, or at least capping VPs a lot earlier than normal. And considering this is game three, it's kind of strange because he's not really trying to win faction choice. Maybe he just wants to end the game early. <laughs> yeah, but as we know, this is a pretty long game, and um, we'll see how it turns out with the victory points later on. Mm -hmm. More wire down in the south, near this little engagement. The Volks are probably going to have to get out of there, is my prediction. The rifles still have five men, and the engineers are still hanging around, soaking up some damage. Yeah. Yep, and the Volk squad's going to get out of there. 
So Devim now with four rifle squads, two engineers. So now we're probably going to see where he's going to deviate tech-wise. He could either go bars, which is pretty powerful on this map. He could go M8, which is... You, would you say fast M8's more viable this patch thanks to the pack, or do you still think bars is the way to go against Fairmock early game? Um, on this map, I think... My mates are very strong because of the short points where you could put down uh, those nasty M8 mines, which blows up everything the, Amer <laughs> the Wehrmacht gets in your way. But Except yes. kind of miscontrolled his MG in the middle there, walked it right up to the house where the rifles were shooting. Yeah, look at that. They should really set up. And yeah, he's finally going to set up. But the rifles are in a building and in green cover, so he's not going to there we go, bars. Mm, bars popping, so. Be curious to see how Seb reacts. He doesn't have tier 2 up yet, so he might just go straight to tier 3. That's one thing you can do on Sumo, just because you have that plus 10 fuel income pretty much guaranteed the entirety of the game. Yeah. Seb actually has a sniper out, too. He's gonna try and get those uh, riflemen in the church to get out of there. And that's a smart move, just because when you see your opponent going for a fast tech like that, fast bars, you, you usually want some more tier 1 units, or else you aren't going to be able to hold off the bar pressure. Yeah, but there's uh, lots of riflemen moving out now from the flank in the north. They're probably going to uh, chase off all that all those forces Seb has in the middle. Look at that flank coming down now. Seb yeah. actually, yeah, Seb actually doesn't have that much in the middle. And yeah, you see, he's just gonna mass retreat out of there. He had two squads up top. He has a Volk squad just sitting behind sandbags up here, waiting for this end. Oh, yeah. I don't really know if that was. I don't really know if that was worth it. To I mean, he is actually gonna kill this engineer squad surprisingly. Yeah. Oh, look at that MG in the middle. They're gonna go down on the retreats. Oh, oh no! That's and that is good for huge. Seb. Yeah, that is huge for DevM. He lost an engineer, but he did manage to kill an MG, and that's going to put Seb in a tough spot because he's going to have to decide if he wants to go for tech or if he wants to rebuild that MG, and that's going to slow down. That yeah, is MG. Uh, I mean, this uh, motorcycle is going to go down too. It wasn't oh, actually micro at all. No, he just kind of stood there. That's very interesting. I'm kind of curious why Seb seems like he's sort of losing focus right now. And Devim has gone has gone infantry. He is laying mines with his rifles. Oh yeah, pretty, I saw that. Pretty yes, standard play. We won't see the new strafing run in action, unfortunately. I haven't actually seen it in play yet, so I was hoping I'd get to see it one of these games, but maybe in another game. I actually saw a replay with the strafing run involved. It was a guy was strafing a sniper, and the sniper only took 50% damage, which is good. So I mean, it should be better against blobs than yeah. single units. So, so oh, up it's top! A really nice change. Oh, never mind. What? I thought there were mines. What the hell happened there? Um, I could have sworn I saw mines, but I guess they were being built and then got cancelled. Interesting thing to notice in the middle, Seb was attacking ground with his flamers to try to flame out some mines. I think he got one of them, but there is yeah, still there is still a mine near the the little truck right there. And yep. the wire from Seb is doing a good job not only of limiting Devim's motion and movement, but it really screws with the retreat pathing, especially on this map where the retreat pathing is pretty terrible to begin with. I think Devim actually, no, he almost lost a rifle squad because it had to retreat. Instead of going down over this bridge over here, it had to retreat all the way th through the middle and right through an MG. So that was just one interesting thing. Ouch. That mine hurt. Lucky it missed the sniper. <laughs> oh yeah, right. He was walking right beside it. That would not have been fun. Back in Devon's base, we do have a triage center. No supply yard yet. 
and Seb went tier hmm. two, so that's interesting. So no supply yard yet. In the no, and nine minutes mark almost. Which he is gonna he is gonna want to get a supply yard sooner rather than later, just because his manpower income right now is only at two thirty six. He's gonna want the supply yard just to boost that up, but he's probably not gonna want to get any sort of vehicle tech, motor pool, or tank depot for a little bit because Seb's gone tier two. He's gonna be pretty safe from any vehicles for the time being. And he's gonna want to focus on countering that instead. That MG in the building there is kind of mal placed because he had to retreat. Yeah, well there is this. Yeah, and there's the blind spot on that one side, and Devim does have grenades, which is interesting, going very heavy on the rifle tech. Yeah, but as you know, in the recent beta, re most recent beta change, uh, you have to research supply or level 1 instead of, instead of getting sticky bombs, you get faster mm -hmm. veterancy for your rifles. Yeah, you don't get the vet bonuses for stickies or bars anymore. And that was mainly yep. done just because there's not... Because in, in the last retail patch, I mean, you really needed r r like vet on your rifles in order to stand a chance because of the pack. And in this patch, you have a lot more options just because you can use tank depot, you can use harassment with the M8, so that's why that change was made. Yeah. I think that's a good change also. We have a demo charge now in the medic bunker I've put up by Seb. Oh yeah. Very good idea. That's a cheap upgrade and it yeah. really, really negates the bunkers. I like this sand this sandbag placement near the strap point too. Oh yeah. Very interesting. And up at the fuel point, this squad's probably gonna be able to decap it, but he might die. The sniper's been taking pot shots out. Now he's gonna get out. He'll be fine. Devim has great map control right now. Really playing this well, but he's yeah, floating he 800 manpower. Oh my god. 800? Goodness. What's gonna do with those? 800 manpower. He really needs. Oh, by a the way, those. Yeah, what was that? Those riflemen uh, walked into a mine put down by Seb there in the northern field. Right, I so missed that's that. That's why he was. So low health. Very true. More mines going up from the rifles squad is ready. and what's this? rifle squad in the middle just kind of hanging out. Now Seb does have a minesweeper squad now, so he should be able to take care of those mines put down by mm -hmm. Devon. And interestingly go. enough, this flamer squad that just retreated actually retreated right through wire. Which is very strange. It's just okay. kind of phased through the wire. It's kind of comical. <laughs> Don't really know how that happened. It was kind of strange. The enemy well, after our victory point. It's just the game, so. <laughs> Suppose so, yes. Everything can happen. Very <laughs> true. <laughs> Weapon guess. support center is up for a sniper, and supply yard is up. So Devon's going to want to use this sniper to counter snipe Sebs. Sniper and then use it to pick off the Grens. He's probably going to have it on hold fire until he can manage to take out the other sniper. Can can you do a quick time sync for me, please? Yeah, sure. I am at 13, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Okay, thank you. I'm right sync with you. Awesome. Okay, Seb is pushing out now in the middle. Mm -hmm. Gonna take it, the church with MG. I'm not sure if this is such a good idea. Devon has a great spread on his rifles. He's really coming at it with all flanks. Yeah. Flanking around this MG. He actually threw a grenade, but that doesn't really do anything in the house. Yeah. Yeah, I think Seb realizes he's in a bad spot right now. He gets that MG out. He's gonna back it up. Probably gonna want to. More grenades. Yeah. Probably gonna want to pop a health pack on that MG, seeing as, it, seeing as it's at such low health. Rifles just screaming in from all angles. And, oh, off map already. Oh. Man. Oh, is the sniper gonna get out? Of me? Oh no. Oh my goodness. Oh man. That was just terrible, terrible luck for Seb. First shell takes out the sniper. Oh man. Huge loss there. That's really gonna. We also hurt. have um, defensive doctrine chosen by 
Seb, mm -hmm. you got Fortified Land Pop. Fortified Land, and also Vet 1 on the infantry, so it's gonna give him a bit of free regen for the health. Gonna make it so that Seb doesn't have to spend nearly as many munitions on health packs. Which is good. Health packs actually got reduced in munitions cost to 30 from 35. They did, and there was pretty interesting. There was talk of changing them even further, but given the time constraints, that's probably all we're going to get is the five munitions decrease, which is helpful because it does give Wehrmacht a bit more options in terms of how to spend the munitions, seeing as yeah. they're such a ridiculously mun munitions-heavy race. Yeah, they certainly are. And uh, Sabre also rebuilt his medic bunker a bit further back this time. Mm -hmm. I guess he's uh, scared of those demolition demolition shards, <laughs> yeah. engineers. And that'll make it safer for sure. I love how Seb actually moved one of his MGs up to the top to push off a rifle squad. He probably could have done it with just the Gren, but he wanted to be safe. So he brought the low health MG up, and now he's going to bring it back into the middle. So that was just a nice little play. And Devon does have two snipers out right now, so he's doing an excellent job. Pr pretty much perfectly countering what Seb is doing. Yeah, Seb really needs some heavy anti-infantry units Because mm -hmm. those rifles are doing too much damage to his forces. Mm -hmm. He is. And, um, he's in a fairly good spot, all things considered. He's been pushed off a few times, and he still managed to stick into the middle. And another mine actually goes up on the top and kills the right squad. Yeah. They have had to retreat there. Enemy units. Yeah, down. good job by Seb of actually keeping himself in this game. Ooh, some died. Artillery support is now available. I think. Uh, Pioneer squad went down yeah. in the middle. Half track out, I like that. Always good to see half tracks. Oh, yeah. And in the American player's base, a howitzer is being produced. And that's... Mm. I mean, it'll be difficult for Seb to counter. He did go defensive, so he does have the rocket artillery. And that still one-shots howitzers, whereas Firestorm most of the time does not one shot, but I think if you get lucky with the spread, it can actually still one shot, which is kind of funny. But for 200 mun mun munis, which the rocket barrage actually costs, I think you should be able to kill a house. Oh, for sure, yeah. Logistics uh, claims they can the support rapid deployment. Mm -hmm. Or is it? I think it is. Yeah. I think it is too. Order. Well, look at this half track now in the middle. Mm -hmm. Seb doing a good job using the the MG on the half track, making the pyo inside it a bit more effective than if it just been walking around by itself. That's for sure. I got two volt squad inside the half track right now. Oh, does he? Probably should <laughs> switch uh, to uh, pioneer squad. And Artie was trying oh. to take out the mortar, but the mortar repositioned. And three rifle or two, yeah, three rifle squads and two snipers in the middle. These snipers are really gonna drive Seb crazy. He actually does have a bite trying to flank around and see them. Like, he is gonna spot both of them. They're both gonna jump in the house. That is awesome. Jumping them both in the church. Oh man, we've got so much art in the middle. Wow, that off map actually didn't do that much. All things considered. Well, it forced retreat on those forces, so it should. It did something, yeah, true. And even though it didn't oh. kill anything. I'm kind of confused why Seb had those two units inside the half track. That really would have helped him hold off that push if they had been out <laughs> yeah. dealing damage the entire time instead of just sitting in the half track. But now we actually no! managed to force retreat those rifles who were capped in the middle. Mm -hmm. so. That was... Yeah. That's fairly interesting, and it's also interesting to note that we're almost 20 minutes into the game and none of Devon's rifle squads have any sort of vet right now. So we're really, we're yeah. really seeing the effects of that one change, just really slowing down the rifle vet. I'm not sure if that's exactly the best thing for Americans, considering how f hard it is to fight against vetted infantry that but I mean... Whoa. Oh, look at that 
howitzer. <laughs> goodness. Was that a howitzer shell that hit a mine and then blew up the... We are losing territory. Half track? Is that what it killed? What um, is that? I'm not sure. Back. But the howitzer actually managed to kill a motorcycle. That's what it was. It was a motorcycle. Okay. And Devim's trying to tick the VPs down a little bit. Capping the... No, never mind. Yeah. He tricked me as his engineer. Oh, he's gonna... He's gonna kill the half-track with the engineers. <laughs> Look at that damage! <laughs> wow, it actually... Holy shit! Huh. That's kind of ridiculous. He's gonna set oh. demos, and I think Seb's gonna try to push him off. But he's probably... Oh, damage engine from the... Are these flamers the actually machine fire. gonna kill? I need to see this. If the flamers are actually yeah, gonna kill the half see this. <laughs> and they did. That is amazing. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've never seen that before. I did not know Flamers did that much damage to Hotcracks. I think huge engagement in the middle though right now. Yeah. For the Fatherland pop. Yeah. And up. with For the Fatherland pop, Dev really needs to get out of there. He lost way too much manpower in that engagement. When your opponent pops for the Fatherland that early. It's usually a better idea to just run away instead of fighting it out, losing all the time. Yeah. That was super effective against those weapons. His snipers did do a great job in the back, but he lost a lot of manpower, and that's going to be annoying just because he, he doesn't want to be reinforcing all that often. He's barraging with his howitzer at absolutely nothing. I see, though, uh, American... Medics, so he have apparently have built a medic station yeah, right back behind there. the yeah, right by behind the church. church. That's interesting. I mean, why not? It's kind of in a dangerous spot, though. Because well, when you go this infantry heavy strat, you should always get a mm -hmm. medic station or something like that. Rifle squad with one man running through the MP. 40s and just barely survives and Seb's gonna hop a Shrek in that church and there you go. Shrek's gonna be able to shoot at the yeah. at the medic station so that's gonna kind of n make that a waste of 150 I believe it is manpower. Yeah it is. Single window uh, on that side of the church is, is the pants exactly. Is so he actually going to be able to kill it? Yep, he's going to kill it and then probably retreat. Doesn't want to drop a Shrek. Oh. Almost went down though to the sniper fire. Devon's been... Those snipers are doing some mm -hmm. nice damage. Devon's been doing a great job preserving his units. If he had lost any, either of these snipers or any rifle squads by this point, he'd be in a bit of trouble just because he's been reinforcing everything constantly. That's pretty expensive. Yeah, stick a bomb on the motorcycle. And the mortar down. doing ridiculous damage. Yeah, yeah mortar fire. So that's two. Oh, we just lose a bulk squad. That's gonna hurt, especially ah. with no medic bunker. Another bulk squad. And a grenade is gonna go off in the church and do absolutely nothing, which is no surprise there. <laughs> Apparently, Devon never learned that you should never throw grenades right now. into the church on someone. So even though Seb keeps getting forced back constantly, I'm really surprised he's been able to keep in this map right now. Mortar, oh my goodness. Seb's really done a good job of keeping map control, all things considered. I mean, he's got another half track, he still has a lot of infantry in the middle. The howitzer hasn't done too much damage. I mean, two infantry kills and the bike kill. Not really too effective, all things considered. But now uh, Devon is actually gonna have a free VP cap mm -hmm. very soon. Attention. That's gonna hurt Seb. Yes, yeah, Seb's... Seb is... Uh, oh, you were saying? Seb rebuilt his uh, half-track mm -hmm. though, so he's gonna run out with his uh, troops with... Uh, Full of grenadiers inside to recapture those. It's kind of interesting that he's been putting so much infantry in his half tracks as opposed. We normally just see players throw a pioneer inside and then use it to reinforce, and if it takes damage, the pioneer can just jump out and 
repair it, jump back in, but Seb's liking his infantry and his half tracks. It's kinda interesting. We have three hundred points left. <laughs> yeah. Actually two half tracks now, got another one going up to the north. Heavy recon here. Oh so yeah. interesting. Oh, there's a MG huh. inside. Very interesting. Also a low health. No, did you just put a Volk squad in there as well? Ready for orders. <laughs> yeah, he what did. Is he? I'm not sure what's what this. Is. What's oh, this? Yeah. Might be a base rape. It's gonna kill a oh, howitzer. Oh, that is super smart. This is a great play, Devim. <laughs> He absolutely does not like this. Two Shrek oh, squads. Look at this. He's gonna take it out. One more shot should do it. Oh my goodness, sliver of health. But yeah, he's just gonna attack move on the Howie and gonna be able to kill it. Maybe? Yep, there we go. Sticky on the half track, so he's gonna sack yeah, that half track. But he did get a howitzer. Definitely an even trade. Great play by Seb. I absolutely love that. <laughs> yeah. That was really I unexpected. Definitely yeah. cheaper than than using a a rocket barrage, but now an M10 out, which is a strange choice, I'd say, from DevM. I mean, there's no packs on the field, so it'll be kind of safe. But the only thing this M10 is going to be good against is the one half track. So, not sure about yeah. that. Kind of a strange choice, considering Seb is also defensive doctor, so there's, there's not not gonna be any. Yeah. That's true. And, and if Seb decides to build a flak, the M10 is gonna be kind of useless. The Yankees are good. Yeah. <laughs> Paper armor. So. Exactly. Something to note: a a demolition charge has actually been planted on the middle church. Which I personally would have liked it to be planted somewhere other than the church, just because the church is so huge. It's not going to do as much damage, but oh, I can't see the demo charge. Use demo charges more. It is on the side nearest Devon's base, inside the bushes. Oh, you yeah. actually can't see it. That's an interesting spot. If you switch over to Devon's point of view, you'll be able to see the big detonate me sign. That's actually very sneaky. So I didn't even see them. And usually when there's yeah. damage charges you can see them. 